Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel, Becoming a ROS Developer here at The Construct. My name is Rodrigo, and today we have one of our students, Lou, who uh, took a course that we offer, ROS to Basics in C++. Is that right, Lou? Yes. Yes. Uh, Rust Basics in C++, Rust 2, in which he had to develop a, a project to test with a real robot. And so he's going to be showing us that project today. So, uh, hi, Lou. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I am good. I'm excited to see you again. You've done a bunch of our presentations already. So we're excited yeah. to see <laughs> what you have for this one. So without further ado, uh, please uh, share your screen and start showing us what you've done. All right. Let me share my screen. And it's this one. Share. Okay. Um, can you see my screen now? Yes, we see the robot and two okay. terminals. All right. All right. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's the the way to that's what I plan. Okay. So I think uh, we just uh, do uh do the show the demo first, and then we look at the Please, code. Please, yes. That, that's Let's good. See what what happens. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, these two terminals. Uh, let me give a like a brief explanation. The first terminal I have a. Uh, just follow the procedure. I think everybody probably oh, how do I show this? Um, you know the the bridge set up the bridge like the first. That's what they did on the first terminal. Mm -hmm. The bridge between ROS one and ROS two. That's the first terminal. Second terminal, I just you know I just logged in. Actually, I mean get into the folder of the um, the ROS two uh, workspace and source. So I'm just about to start to uh, run the project. So. Hopefully <laughs> it runs. That's all happened. I see it's closer to an obstacle. Do you need to take care of that or, or are we going to let, let's try. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. I like okay. It. Yeah. I, yeah. I, uh, yeah. Let's see. Um, let's see. Give it some challenge. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. looks good. So you can see there's. You see the the index of the distance until it gets three sixty. That's facing the wall. Now it's running toward the wall. So okay, it said yeah. objects found. What what? Is yeah, that? actually, that's uh, that's I can. Exp so I, I I I the software kind of detect the um, the object. You know oh, how many exciting. objects are they? Cool. And uh, and so if it's if it detects in you know the shortest distance. It's not a war. Instead of object, it will, um, you know, it will ignore it. Or actually, in fact, actually, actually, I in my software, I can actually push, you know, the give the distance of object far further instead mm -hmm. of really short. So that's kind of, in that way, we kind of uh, eliminate object from, you know, from the short distance short distance running. So, so that way, you can guarantee, you know, run to the I war. See. So right now, following the wall, you can see like two oh. numbers are like uh, going. One is a distance, you know, to the wall. Uh, to so the like wall. Okay. Point, point, point two, three, point something. And the other number is the total distance right now, like 2.49, 2.5 meters. So it's, it's running uh, full mm -hmm. circle. So. so feedback received is how long it's traveled. So that's your idea. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, nice. that's right. Okay. Total, total distance from the... From beginning, so. And how is it going to detect the end of the line? The, the end of okay, yeah. So when it started, it will you know remember the the location from admin arbiter. So remember the location X Y, and, and uh, yeah, automatic meeting uh, reading, and then uh, it it always check the distance from the you know the current location mm -hmm. to the original location when that location of course we had to get out of that location first so we have a, a set of like a boolean to left the location mm. once left and it, and then the you know the distance is really small again that means it had finished loop came back and then it would stop just oh, like what nice. happened now so this is just we just finished the whole uh, process and also 
again, this is um, not super easy to read. So at the end, it will print, you know, as a uh, instant feedback. This is the result of the action. So yeah. all the X, Y, you know, every one second, all the, you know, the yeah. X, Y. Um, so if you were yeah. to plot this, we would see. Hopefully, the, yeah, the like square. Like the circular motion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So like a like the, the path. So that's the code. So any any question before we go to the look at the code? Well not but, questions, uh, but I want to ask you uh, the objects. Sure, please. Uh, the, uh -huh. and then the um just how you define this uh, radius, you know, the, these two parts of the obstacle, but go ahead and, and, and explain. Oh, you parts. mean how is it detected? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I want to know how, how is it detecting the wall? Oh, I haven't turned on this one. Okay, give me a second. Let me get, bring up the code. I thought I had that. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's, um, um, I can, you know, I, we, we can start from there first, I think, um, for the detection. So here, the, Sure. Cool. Yes. Uh, first of all, maybe quick uh, overview of the software structure. Mm -hmm. So here you can see I have um um basically there's I think uh, six to six big modules. One is wall following, um, you know, uh, the function or the you know I I create a class. That's one. The other one is a surface. They have, we have a surface server, surface client, same as action, action server, and action client. So that's basically, you know, this and at the end it's a main. Main just we include include everything together. So uh -huh. it's like a here, you know, I include the, the surface client and action client header, which is a get a class. So I can yeah. use them here. Um, and also the other two main, this, this action client main and the service client main, we are not using right now. This is just for my test purpose. So I can just oh, test them in, uh, by themselves. So in case, yeah. so, um, so I, yeah, so, um, yeah. So by the way, you, you know, you mentioned the, the surface, you know, how detect the object. So here, um, like the surface server, um, surf server when the surface is called, um, it um, let me see where is it. Okay, so this is a main, and when the surface called, it come to come to this callback, and uh, come to this callback. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should show you first. The yeah, the the the, the um, surface server, uh, construction constructor. Constructor, you see, you have two callbacks. One is the scan callback, the other is a surface callback. I use some um, multi multi thread, um, and uh, so the the scan callback is very s simple. Just to you know, just I copy the yeah. copy the you know copy the the, the message, yeah, the yeah. scan the scan message. That's it. And the surface callback, which is uh, where is it? Uh, surface callback. There's find wall, find wall callback. This is a kind of major one. So they just yeah. start from here. Uh, find wall callback. So it have a three. I mean, first of all, it wait. It have ever you know receive message and then waiting. Mm. So and the, it includes three major pieces. Software one is turn to war. So turn the you know Rob turn itself toward the war. Then run to the war, run to war, and then turn around. So turn, turn left, so it can do the next next step. So this is three pieces. So the second two are easy. The, the only the really challenging one is the turn to war because mm. you know what? It has to decide up. which. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. So exactly, exactly. So so I can show you here. This is kind of a turn to war. This is kind kind of a. Um, you know, most complicated one. So what it does is uh, again, it's uh, uh, I have uh, um, um, I have a loop here. So again, the shortest shortest index, I guess. Um, I, I assume uh, the shortest index is um, um, for the scan reading from one to actually from index zero to seven. 19 
Nice. So that's like a 360 degree around, you know, scan the result. So we detect what the shortest one. And of course, the shortest one may not be the war, might be the object. So, but mm -hmm. anyway, so we get the shortest one first, see, hey, you know, we need to facing the shortest one. If it's not, I mean, facing the short, again, I'm sorry, not face. Yeah, so again, if the robot is facing the war, so the shortest index should be 360. So yeah. that's what's doing here. If so it's not 360. Gonna, sorry, you're going to face there and then you're going to make the decision of whether... Yeah, once we're facing, no, you know, once we're facing, we are done actually. Oh, okay. We we just we get out, okay. but uh, we you know we had to decide. Uh, you know, when we detect short distance, that's where the trick. So, I first of all, um, you know, um, I see the filter once, try. Yeah, first of all, we do like a you know, uh, yeah, filter try. I mean, before that, so this yeah. is this is also like a, um, kind of small trick. So first of all. I make a copy of the scan message because you know there's two threading, so one may interrupt the other one. So I don't want I you know halfway uh -huh. I process uh -huh. my number and all of a sudden this you know because the scan callback oh the number changed. So I just make a copy. So this is a you know this is a copy uh, not change not affect by the scan right. any moment until we finish. And then once I get copy. I, I call it remove infinity because, you know, again, this is to, from the test result. And uh, um, sometimes, you know, the scan result have infinity number. So, yeah. which is, you know, which is practically happen, but in theory, they shouldn't because, you know, we are in a surrounded area. No number should be larger than, I don't know, two, three meters. So yeah. if an infinity number, that's definitely... Um, I believe that's Noise. a multitude of reasons. One might be the uh, light sure. or power. It's not enough. Okay. So maybe, yeah. I don't know. But yes, this is a good idea to remove those. Because... Yeah. By the way, what's interesting is I, I can even see them in the simulation, but of course in the oh, real the infinite. Yes, you're right. You're yeah. Right. In the in the simulation I see them, but not but not often, but in the real in the real lab test, there's a lot. So uh, yeah, you know, more time. often I I've seen them. So I because my algorithm, I you know, I um, it will affect my results. So I remove them first, and then after I remove, I still do a double check, make sure I did remove them, yeah. and then I try to filter object. So and then you know, again, every time I filter the object, I kind of you know check the. Um, again, we can go look a little bit. Um, so what I do is I just uh, I. I still get the shortest in uh, shortest uh, index and find okay where the shortest now it could be the war could be the object and then I go around this index go back go go back to ninety counts go forward ninety counts and uh, look at it if there are some sudden distance changes. Is there a big reading if jump that, or something? Yeah, if the big you see here if the jump is bigger than zero point four, you say hey that doesn't. That's a, if it's a if it's you know bigger than four. That's um that's object obvious. obvious. Yeah. It's not because the war is always continue. So if it's from from object to war, that's a big jump. So when there's a jump, I can you know I push them. I kind of um, give them um. You can hear I I I get the left and right side the the red and light red and light right I'm sorry, <laughs> left and right end of this object and i give them all the values to 999 which is i kind of push them away so okay so you are not the, yeah because yeah it's... so when i when i scan again i you know, so i did a change you know those um, those values so why when, when next time i i scan again look at the shortest distance this object will not be <laughs> will not be detected anymore right. because um, they're further very far away so that's how so i that's um, yeah, it, it's iterative, so it goes. Yeah, through, it yeah. Will find it, then remove it, then it'll find the next one. Find the next one. Yeah, until it to see how many tries. So I get max of ten. I I don't think there will be more than ten object. Yeah, so yeah. we have a thing that's like a two, two, three most, and then you know then after you know after retry this a few times, so and until at the end say hey you know there's no. Um, uh, there's no, oh, so once I detect it's true, otherwise, you know, I re when I return as a force, 
The right. default is yeah. force. Why the tender force? Okay, that's no more object. Now this value is good. So we just, uh, you know, we we get out this loop, and then we we um we use we use that number to to do the next step. Right. So that's uh, so that's what um, we have here. Um, the we got like yeah. ten more minutes, Lou. Sure. Yeah, and uh, I think the rest will be kind of a. Let's just finish this one first, and then we can look at that. So this one is kind of a easy run to war. We just look at you know the the you know when we're facing the war, how far is it until mm -hmm. it's zero point three? It is close. We 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 have we have a stop here. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we keep keep going with a uh, with a uh, linear speed. So that's run to war. And then once we finish that one, we turn around. So again, we use the, <laughs> excuse me, let me just close the door. Don't worry. Yeah, the kid's about to go to school, so I'm just, <laughs> okay. So yeah, so let's, uh, so it's turn around. So again, when we turn around, again, it'll look at the shortest distance again. Sorry, I mean, sorry, short index of short distance again. So when we, from facing the wall, turn to the left. So we want index to be, you know, right now it's a 360. We want to turn to 180. So that's where, you know, 90 degree on the right side of the mm -hmm. wall uh, from us. So that's what that does. It have a constant uh, um, angular speed until it's detect, okay, we are, we turn over and we turn back to zero. So that's what is the surface. Um, the, yeah, so that's, um, I don't know what the others uh, we can talk um, a few things. Um, I, I guess maybe um, you can suggest. So, for example, right now. Um, yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. You're going to go there. I was going to ask you, <laughs> what's in your include folder? And that's nothing there. <laughs> right. Because you, yeah. you put the dot yeah. in there. But yeah, that's you were exactly. You have problems call, uh, referencing them from the CPP in there, right? Uh, oh. No, actually, I have no problem. Oh, okay. I have no problem at all. But uh, I wonder, you know, you know, I haven't seen much, you know, like a uh, instruction documentation, like a tutoring best practices. I'm going to say exactly, yeah, you. exactly what put it. So, you know, for example, right now, because I put it here, so when I, when I include them, I don't, you know, they are in the same folder. I just, so I just, just do that, I give yeah. them the name. Otherwise, I had to. Go out, go back in, so back in a little bit, but it's it's okay, it's okay, uh, because they are all relative, they are fixed, still yeah. fixed. So my guess, maybe again, I, nobody. <laughs> my guess, if I put serve, you know, the header there, ma might be. I wonder, maybe that can be included from other, other package. I, yes, I don't, that is what you can do. I, yeah, I, I guess will, that's maybe the reason yeah. why. Mm -hmm. I will share with you this uh -huh. college. ETH, which is really, uh -huh. it's in Switzerland, really good at robotics. They oh, okay. did a really nice GitHub that I use for best okay. practices for Ross and I Ross too. Okay, it yeah. It tells you like everything about this and it, it, I'll share it with you. Okay, yeah, that'd be nice. Thank you, thank you. Like, uh, you know, I start Ross 2, I kind of, um, again, I think this should be done the same as the Ross 1. Mm -hmm. And, but also, also Ross 2, I started start some like a, uh, Put all the C in the source and put the Python in a name, same as a package yeah, name. Yeah, that depends on another. the package you made as well uh, in, in Rust too. So here, this is an yeah. Ammon C make. You can make an Ammon yeah. Python package. Yeah, and that yeah. Would be a so different. yeah, I I just wonder, you know, what's the reason for that? I mean, because I remember in Rust we always put in a script, and yeah. but now in the in the Ross, you know, I mean, for 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 Python, right? I mean, but for Ross two, um, you know, we we put that in the folder. I'm just curious, you know, what's going on. So, but but anyway, so that's uh, so that's one thing. So can I see? I can include the. Um, oh, by the way, um, I I haven't shown, but this is like a very basic. So in the main launch, you can see I just create. I mean, I just uh, uh, create three nodes. One mm -hmm. is the surface uh action server surface server and this wall follow node wall follow node to basically include uh, um the, 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 the all, all three all three of them all three of them yeah. one is the 
uh, the surface client, yeah. and then the action client, and then the war, and then what the for war follow uh, node. So that's uh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so no. <laughs> Amazing. This is great. This is great. Um, I don't know if you have something else to mention. Yeah, I'm sorry. They are just keep opening. the keys just keep opening. It's not I do it. So don't worry about it. It's kind of noisy. Yeah, that's <laughs> sorry. Life. That's life. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Um. Yeah. I would I, ask I, you to uh, show us your action server, but we saw it working, and it's just um. To, yeah, to yeah, I guess. using the Euclidean distance to obtain the points and then print them on uh, the list or something. Yeah, I can I can do it. Quick, quick show, quick show here. So basically, you can see, yeah. as I mentioned, I had to decide has the 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 objects have left origin or not. So we have, yeah, have a yeah, boolean yeah. here, and also have a you know you can see my correct here is once yeah, it's getting points. back shorter than zero point two, it's done. Then if it's you out. know. Yeah, that's keep checking. So this is kind of while loop running forever. Yeah. So this left, you can see this left once I, you know, once the distance, you know, I always check the distance to start, which is, you know, check the current mm -hmm. from the current distance to the start position. So keep checking this until, you know, look at the distance. Once the distance is longer than certain value, say, okay, we left the origin. And so that's it. And later we also say, okay, we, we left and we, we come back then we finish this while loop, we go, you know, we go, okay, we're done, go succeed, go succeed. So that's, uh, Great. that's I think this is the best, uh, like, simple, I mean, I, I'm just used to seeing uh, what, what students do to solve this. And I think this uh -huh. checking that okay. it's coming back, but it's also as left is the is the most effective one. Uh, sure, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's really yeah. simple and really efficient. Yeah, and, and again, there are some you know improvement can be done. By by the way, you know, I just uh, like mentioned here. Um, again, I have some difficulty. Like, a, um, I mean, no difficulty. It's just uh, I have to decide it's this. Is, you know, when we come back, yeah. the, 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 it's a number because if it's you know if it's too small, sometimes I may miss it because you know I I, I yeah. you know because I have a like it's you know point two to point three distance from the wall. So it yeah. could, could be anywhere between. So, so if you make it too yeah. small, I can go around, I miss it, I may go another round. And yeah. um, but if it's too large, that means I haven't got really back to the original point. I mean like a you know point three, yeah. point four if I put big number, I haven't got back there. So it's done. So I you know we you know if it's time allowed or if we want we can you know do some other Trick some other <laughs> things, no, I, but right I, I now they it's, it's sort of arbitrary. Yeah. And yeah. if if you wanted to reduce it, you would need to reduce the uh, overshoot of your controller, right? Of your wall following node. Yeah, yeah. Or we find some other way to really oh, fix that. We are way. back. Yeah. Some something. Yeah. So this is something you know, not perfect because right now you know we may not really get back at zero point two. Right. If you test zero point two meters, times, two yes, might still. not be there. Yeah, I yeah. Get it. And also, I think if, uh, another limit factor is the um, the uh, the timing because we check every one second. So, you know, the the robot will move. You know, how far right. the robot can move in one second. So that's it's also maybe, arbitrary. So you yeah. could have sped that up if you wanted to. In theory. Yeah. Again, that's so if you can get the timing shorter, then we right. may you know get right. maybe check quicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because right now they kind of sleep one second, you know, like this. So that too will make right. it a right. challenge there. So, um, yeah. So that's um, so the again a lot of them, you know, a lot of them, you know, after finish the course, a lot of them just you know basically copy the kind of template from the from right. course study and the right, change. Right, right. The, You've taken a lot of these courses and we have plans, we haven't started yet, of, of making different types of, of projects for this. So it's not um, oh yeah the same nice. yeah and adding more. So sure, uh, yeah, definitely. So I keep want an eye to out for that, more. Sure, that'd be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep an eye um, out. Yeah. But anyways <laughs> This really nice project. Congratulations, Lou. Let me tell you first what I noticed right away. Okay. Is that this is really, really readable C++ code. So great. Okay. usually when I look at C++, it's just like 
a headache because you know it can get really out of hand really quickly with because it's yeah. harder to read that something in Python, but just like so like I understood like I was reading a, a textbook almost so nice nice. I also liked that you um oh the the point of putting the dot uh, h's in the include I'll send yeah. you best practices doesn't matter yeah, okay. just so you have it and sure yeah I will do that I'm, I'm, I'll try that I guess yeah, yeah. Nice. I also like um the way you do the obstacles because okay I, yeah I do something really similar when I do a couple of things with some of my robots but yeah uh, I go I'm now I'm wondering if I should do your your way because yeah because I like the fact that you know you rotate you you get the smallest one then you check the left check the right and if not you know put it far away of course that yeah. might affect if you're trying to move after like let's say you had a you had to add another behavior in the meantime oh. and that that yeah. obstacle is now nine thousand away when in reality yeah. it's not that could be yeah. but but this is that's really simple because what i do is i extract like the like the index of every obstacle so i can keep track of like the central oh, of, of yeah. every obstacle without without getting rid of it um, yeah but i i like that i i thought that was really clever and sure uh, yeah last thing i want to mention is that you made a scan copy can you explain why again so you said you, you took a a copy of the scan <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The reason the, the it, modifications on that copy. Yeah, the reason is I, I, again. That's also like again. That, that's a very good point. I want to. I want to hear from you. Is you know when when I have a two callback, uh, from the you know, two got two callbacks going on, and uh, I my standing they are in separate thread, so my. Yeah. I'm not quite sure, but I I guess it's possible they may interrupt each other, which means you know when I when I haven't finished this callback for the for my war for my service, the uh -huh. the the scan callback may occur, right? So it it will this, occur. So I mean, it will occur. Happen. So when it occur, you know, when the scan callback occur, my you know my um my um, message uh, again. I have a because when that occur, I get a copy of this message, and also I keep a copy of this message as you know the class uh, variable class. You get a pointer. Is that so? That's a. It's a not a pointer. I think uh, this is a pointer, but this is real. So I just, basically I just copy the old, copy old, old you know ve 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 vector or an array whatever. Uh -huh. I copy the whole everything over. So. The reason I, you know, I, I make another copy is because this copy, it, this again, this variable, this array vector variable is used by both. They, I just worry, multi-thread, they may have a conflict. They may have, you know, if I'm using this the same same value in one and the other one interrupt, all of a sudden all the changes change, all the value changed. So that's can mess up you know, the other one, if it's, you know, because, which means in my, in my, uh, in my surface callback, I mean, you know, first half of the function, I may use one set of value for this. And then after the scan, the second half of the function may use another set of value, totally different. So that's right. make, you know, make, uh, um, you know, um, can cause some issue for the. So let me ask you: Did you have? Did you try it without the copy, or like did you did you try that? And were you seeing that it was getting blocked? I haven't actually. I haven't. I, well, I just I just thought it may be an issue. So. Uh -huh. Right. So another thing you can do is print that the frequency at which the you're receiving the scan callback because it usually yeah. is the same all the time. It's like I think it's like seven to ten hertz, and if it's going oh. down, you yeah. know that something's happening. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, um, I see what you're doing, and yeah, um, yeah. I would I, try it actually, without it. See if it, because in theory, uh -huh. you should be fine. You should be uh, fine because okay. of uh, the mutually exclusive callback groups. And but I would try it, uh, but I can't okay. give you the answer right now. I just don't know. <laughs> 
Yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a uh, yeah, I, yeah. I I know. Uh, again, here, right? I be a copy. So right. I did some other tests. You know, I did see kind of they 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 interrupt each other. Maybe so I think that that's right. proven. Maybe but uh, how that which I don't yeah. know if it will work. Maybe instead yeah. of a copy, do a yeah. pointer, which is pointing at the variable address of that range. So you're not having, you don't have two, and then you save. I mean, of course, in this case, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But uh, that way you would save half of the memory used by your mm -hmm. program. Yeah. Again, this I, I do understand your concern. This this copy is kind of expensive. I, I mean... It's it's some values, right? Seven twenty numbers. Yeah, keep, yeah, yeah. keep copying again, again. It's really you can cost. make a hundred copies, it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So but, yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. That, that definitely uh, should be a very you know consider carefully uh, for the for yeah. the design. Is it? Yeah, it's the cost. All right. Well, that's right. Lou, do you mind uh, stopping sharing your screen so we can? Uh, sure. Yeah. Let me stop sharing. Great. <laughs> So again, Lou, congratulations. Really nice, really readable project. And, sure, thank uh, you. Super clear to understand. And um, again, I just mentioned what I liked and congratulations again. And uh, I hope you, you you keep an eye out for for uh, this these plans where I told you about, new new projects. I know you, you've done sure. a couple of them. So we'd be really interested in your feedback. And... Last but not least, for everyone else that's watching, I invite you to, to take our courses like Lou has done to obtain a certificate from us. Uh, but yeah, and d uh, I won't forget, Lou, to send you over those uh, best practices. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Really nice. nice. Yes. I just yeah. uh, forked it for in my GitHub. I always look it up. Um, oh, okay. So I'll yeah, send that nice. over to you. All right. Well, thank you so much, Lou, and congratulations again. Sure. Thank you, Ricardo, for the suggestions. Good, good, good suggestions. All Thank right, you. Well, all right, guys. We'll see you again for, for our next presentation soon. Uh, see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Cool, Lou. Nice.